new construction update today. There are several new communities throughout the Temecula Valley that are going to be opening soon. I'm going to tell you what I know about these new communities. I'm going to tell you which communities are totally sold out and which communities are almost sold out. Here we go. Hi, I'm Jessica Janung with Active Realty. If we have not met yet, I am a realtor here in the Marietta Temecula Valley. My last new construction video update that I did at the beginning of 2021 was a really popular video, so I decided to do it again, giving you an update. Um, I'm gonna do it quarterly, like once a quarter is my plan. Uh, so my last update was talking a lot about communities that were um, nearing build out um, or just about to be done. But this time I have some new information about several communities that are opening and thanks to you guys have helped me uh, learn and be in the know of the communities that are opening. So I really appreciate you guys commenting on the last video. The most recent community that is just now opening is located in Menifee's Audie Murphy Ranch, which is a very popular master plan community. The builder is Meritage Homes and the community is called Jasper. I have my first appointment there tomorrow, so I'm yet to tour the models, but I'll give you the information that I have so far. They have five floor plans, including one single story. Square footage is going to range from about 1,900 square feet to a little bit over 2,900 square feet for the residence vibe. The website says that the pricing is gonna start around 463,000 and it's gonna go up to about 523,000 for the largest floor plan, the Residence 5. I'm not sure if the website includes like things like lot or elevation premiums, but I'm gonna find that, um, I'm gonna find out about that tomorrow when I'm in there. I'm looking forward to seeing those models. Also coming soon in Audie Murphy Ranch is another DR Horton community, which last time I was over there, they were grading the dirt. It is located on the west side of the community over by Canyon Lake, and there is zero information available on their website. Um, so I don't know anything about the plans and pricing, but by the looks of it, and I'm speculating here, I would say um, since they're still grading the dirt that this one is gonna open sometime in the summer. Just to finish up about Audie Murphy, the most popular community that is currently selling in there is TriPoint's Compass. They have a very long wait list over there, but they do have about 11 phases to go. So if you are very patient and that you can hang in there with the price increases that are likely to happen every phase, um, you still have a chance of getting a home in there. Maybe not for the Sycamore plan, which is their largest plan, uh, because they have closed the wait list for that one. Um, just yesterday, a client of mine got a call from Compass offering her the Magnolia plan. She had completed her pre-call and was put on the wait list. It was about two months ago. So this two month long wait actually was not near as long as we were anticipating. Pulte Homes in Audie Murphy, uh, Majestic and Hacienda communities is sold out last I heard. So the only chance of getting a home in there, I believe would be the models of which I think that they've released three or a cancellation, which can happen from time to time. My client just got a visionary in there on a cancellation and it was a pretty quick 45 day move in. I get notified of these cancellations from time to time and it is a great way to get a brand new home without having to wait the six months or longer for build out. I have several clients currently in escrow on cancellations. Like this, this particular one, we got notified of the cancellation and we were there within an hour to look at the home and to take it off the market before anybody else got it because it's, it is, it's crazy times. Real quick, if you are finding this information helpful to you, please do me a favor and smash that like button down below and subscribe to this channel if you wanna keep up to date on everything that's happening in the Temecula Valley housing market. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them down below in the comments. We monitor and answer these questions regularly. Also, if you have any updates that you could provide me and the rest of the viewers on new construction in the area, I'd really appreciate it. In my last update, like I said, I learned about a lot of communities that were opening that I wasn't even aware of. Um, as always in my new construction videos, I highly, highly advise that you take your knowledgeable and experienced agent with you the very first time you visit a new construction community. If you do not and you decide to purchase a home at that community, they typically will not later allow you independent representation. In that instance, um, your interests are going to be represented by the sales rep that works for the buildings. Banner Park is the next Menifee community that will be opening. It is going to be on the east side of town off of Newport where it becomes um, Dominigoni just past Lindenberger, um, which will be on the left if you're traveling east. They are opening mid-year, their website says, and my guess is that it's going to be in the beginning of summer. They have three sub-communities there. Heritage at Banner Park will be a single-story community consisting of three plans. 
Merit at Banner Park is going to be their medium-sized communities with a couple of popular plans that have been throughout the other Pulte communities in the area, like the Visionary and the Pathmaker. Pulte often recycles a lot of their popular plans throughout the different communities, but Banner Park does have quite a few plans that are new to me. Crest at Banner Park is going to have their largest floor plans, and all of those floor plans are actually new to me, so I'm excited for when that opens. Let's move out to Winchester, and we'll stay with Pulte for one more community. So Eagle Crest, which is in Winchester and has been building for quite a while, is nearing completion. There is still a few homes that can be had in Poppy, in Ambrosia, and a few, not as many, uh, but in Verbena, the largest floor plants. So Pulte is on the bidding process right now, so there is still a chance to get a home in each of those communities. Um, but after that Eagle Crest is wrapped up, they are going to be opening a new community just down the road, I would say a mile or so down the road, and it is going to be called Eagle Vista. I kind of wish that they would have made it a different name. It's like too confusing for me, like Eagle Crest, Eagle Vista, but um, it is going to be, um, there's going to be four floor plans over there and they're actually taking the largest models from each of the three communities. So they're taking two floor plans from Verbena, the largest homes. They're taking the largest home from Poppy, uh, which is the Prodigy model. And they're taking the Easton from Ambrosia, which is the largest single story. I think it's like 2,600 square feet. So that is going to be opening. I believe in the summer, there's nothing on the website about that. Um, but they are already taking people uh, on the list right now for um, you know for the pre-selling. So you can go ahead and get in line. I don't know if they're gonna be doing the offers format over there or not, or the traditional wait list. So if you are interested and you can't get in in time, one of the last homes at Eagle Crest, um, go ahead, let me know so that we can get you on the list for Eagle Vista. Right down the street from Eagle Crest, uh, just south on Washington, I've been watching them grade another new construction project and I've been seeing this for about a month or so and I was hoping that it was going to be a Lennar community and I just saw the sign come up. So it is in fact going to be a Lennar community, um, which if you've seen my videos before is one of my favorite, uh, very favorite builders to work for because of their everything's included package. It's a very simple buying process so I'm excited that there's going to be one closer to me and um, so it's in like the French Valley Winchester area. So it is going to be called the Reserve and there's going to be two communities there. Not a ton of information on this yet, um, but the first community in the Reserve is going to be called Weatherstone. So Weatherstone is going to be the larger home. So between 2,200 square feet and 4,134 square feet. So, and I believe that that one is going to be the next gen model, which is very popular. You know, that's like the home within the home, like the casita that's on its own separate entrance with the kitchenette, very popular floor plan. So we're getting one in French Valley, that's exciting. And then the next community in the reserve is going to be called Winbrook, and those are going to be smaller homes, about 1,500 square feet to a little over 1,800 square feet. So. Um, that is highly anticipated in my mind. Uh, looks like probably about summertime or so it should be opening as well. I'll keep you posted on that. Let's move down to Temecula and let's talk about Somers Bend and Rancho Soledo. We're going to start with Somers Bend. I have a lot to say about what's going on in there. There is a lot of changes. Um, Esplanade, the 55 plus community, has now opened. That was a very highly anticipated community. I love the floor plans. I like working with Taylor Morrison and a lot of people, they're very excited about it. There's about seven floor plans. They originally started before they opened the community with like a 200 person wait list, but they are going through that wait list very rapidly. They are releasing a lot of homes. In fact, it seems that construction is quite ahead of sales right now, where these past few phases, people have not been able to pick their structural options. Like the, the point of no return had already passed for construction, so those were chosen for them. And for a lot of people, the things that they chose, they might have chosen anyway, so they moved forward and purchased the home. So they are have already gone through about phase five. They released phase one, uh, obviously right off the bat, and then they released phases two and three together, and they released uh, phases four and five together. So two phases at a time, it was like 16 homes or so in each release. So. Um, going through a lot of homes there and still definitely um, I think that there are going to be a total of over 250 homes in that community so definitely a chance to get a home there they're going to be building in there for like another two or three years I would say 
Moving on to Woodside Homes, uh, Canopy is nearing completion. I think that they have about one phase less left at Canopy, but they are going to be having a Canopy 2, which I believe is another 45 homes that's also going to be in Saunders Bend, but in a separate area. Um, same floor plans, they might adjust um, the plan one to have a downstairs bedroom that's not finalized yet um, but 45 more homes coming for canopy they do have a wait list a pretty sizable wait list there as well but um, I recently had a client get a home in there I, I think they were probably waiting about two or three months or so and, until they got notified so um, very excited for them uh, they also have Everview in that community, which has a very different waitlist process. They are nearing completion as well. They have um, phase 10 left, and then phase 11 is their final phase, which includes the models. So they are just about done there as well, but there is still chances to get a home. Um, Richmond American, you've got Canvas and Arborly. So Canvas is their less lesser expensive of the two, the smaller homes. They're only about 50% sold out. They have a long wait list as well, but only 50% or so through the community. There's still time to get on that wait list and get a home in there. Arborly is their larger homes community up to about 2,900 square feet, I would say. And they are almost done with Arborly as well, but very similar to Canopy, they are going to be getting more lots. I think like 60 more lots um, they're going to be opening in the summer for that. So currently, I think we only have like three homes in the whole community left besides the models, but they're going to be getting another 60 more. But I don't even think those are going to be selling until the summer. So they're not rolling right into that. They need construction to catch up a little bit. Let's talk about Rancho Soleo and South Temecula. Let's see if I can remember these community names and kind of what's going on there. They all sound very similar. So the single family homes there, because there's three sub-communities in there, uh, single family homes, Cassis is nearing completion. I think they have about six homes left. They have a very long wait list and they're the homes that are over, kind of over by Pachanga Parkway. The Kava community is also sold out, I am told, uh, besides the models. The models have not been released yet, uh, but supposedly there is quite a long list for those as well. So I would consider that one done. Um, Cerro, on, on the other hand, which is like their, their duplex and threeplex um, townhomes buildings, so either you know two attached or three attached, they are still selling and they have uh, over 40 units left of that. So they have a wait list for that as well, but that is your best chance of getting a home in Rancho Soleo. Lastly, we are going to end on talking about what is going on in Spencer's Crossing, which is a huge master plan community in Marietta, Northeast Marietta. Very popular for a lot of people, including my clients. A lot of people have bought, a lot of my clients have bought great homes in Spencer's Crossing. So it is just about done as well, but there are a few more chances to get homes in there. So your best chance of getting a home in there is going to be Pulte's Aspen community. So they have four floor plans in there. They have a few phases left. They're on the bidding process. So anybody can join the wait list at any time. And if you are willing to go up and over everybody that's, bid that's bidding, you could get a home in there. The bidding is going uh, quite a bit over the asking price. I had three clients that were bidding on homes in the last phase and none of them got it. I think most of them, they were going about 15 over, but I think it's going to take about 20 or 30 over to get a home in there right now because I think they're getting at least 20 offers or so per phase um, from what I hear. Um, your next best chance of getting a home in there, uh, well, really your only other chance right now is going to be KB. Um, KB Santalina, they have wrapped up construction, but they do have two homes left to sell in there. And um, they're spec homes, they're, they've already been built. They would be quick move-ins. I think they're both single stories. They're around 570,000. Uh, the only problem with those is that the backyards are very small. They're like 10 to 11 feet backyards. So I think for those, that's why they haven't sold yet. But for somebody who doesn't need a huge backyard and will just use you know all the recreational facilities at Spencer's Crossing, that might be a fit for you. Um, all the other communities are, are pretty much done. So you, ha you had three Richmond communities. Those are wrapping up unless there happens to be any cancellations. Oh, and Overland. Overland has like, uh, which is a tri-point community, which was like the most popular community in Spencer's Crossing that's currently building. Um, they have like four or five phases left, but they had such a long wait list that they shut it down. So I think that chances of getting in there are gonna be slim to none. Some of my clients who, who were interested in Overland um, but the chances look too slim over there right now. We're going over to Compass where they have the same floor plans up in Audie Murphy Ranch.
I have been asking a lot of people in Spencer's Crossing, including all of the sales reps for the different builders when I'm in there, um, are there going to be any new communities opening in there? And I haven't seen any that are constructing and they, nobody is aware of any other uh, new construction builders that are going to be opening any more communities in there. So this might be it for Spencer's Crossing. I kind of thought that it was going to continue on, but it does seem to be, so far as I can tell, this might be it for Spencer's Crossing. Okay, hope that you found this new construction information um, helpful. Again, if you would comment down below if I forgot any communities. Oh, I, I do remember, I forgot one. There's that one in Menifee, I can't remember what it's called, but Bavaria. I'll include that in my next one. I didn't have time to go into it. It's not, and it's not open yet, but it is gonna be 500 homes. I think it's gonna be off of Scott Road. Um, and in, in my next uh, update, I will include that one once I get a little bit more information. Didn't go quite as far out as Winchester, but if you're interested in that area, I can tell you all about those communities as well. Uh, I think that that's a wrap for today. Thanks for watching. Bye.